So, so, good evening, people of the Miams Empire, our little community. I greet everybody. Good evening or good morning from wherever you you'll be watching this video. My people from Africa, greet you guys, everybody on this platform. For the past days, I've been seeing the numbers really climbing. It shows something very interesting. I've been seeing the shares for the videos, the pictures I upload or my team uploads. It's really, really interesting. Thanks for supporting us and everything. I'm very worried. I'm very pissed up the last days. Very worried, very pissed up and uh, really sad for one or two things. That's why I've not been able last week to do any video for the community because we are a community here. But before I tell you why I'm very, very sad and very, very pissed up, I'll present myself first to the, to the new people in this platform for them to know who they are dealing with. I go by the name Miam Stadiko, founder of the Miam's Empire. This is the Miam's Empire we are found on Instagram and on YouTube, but we go by the name Miam's Empire. And like I said in the beginning, we are a community. What we do here is motivation, support for little retail businesses in Africa. We do, uh, we philosophize. I did philosophy in school and I did Mechatronics too. Those who know about Mechatronics. Yeah, and I played soccer too in the past. That's all about me. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a preacher. But I kind of like motivate people. And my motivation is like sharing ideas with people and uh, I give my points of view all in respect and you can drop a comment to in respect everything we do here is all about respect I'll go straight to the point where I'm very sad I'm very pissed off since last week we did a giveaway of 5k to 10 people and uh, inside the giveaway we did 10 people won the giveaway the giveaway was on a very good platform, a friend of mine, Sumandina, those who know, Nigerian actor, back from home, very good guy, kind, nice guy. And uh, unfortunately, we, not, I won't say unfortunately, the surprise in it was that the 10 people who won the giveaway were all from Nigeria. <laughs> so I was kind of like saying, wow, so we choose 10 people and all of them are from Nigeria. So, okay. So, I don't live in I don't live in I don't live in Africa. I'm based in Germany and in the States, precisely in Georgia, Atlanta. Those are the two places I'm based. So I don't have any Afri any account in Nigeria. So what, what happened? We had to send money back home for the money to be distributed in, in Nigeria among the the ten people that won the giveaway. So on sending the money back home, they told us the money will be sent into dollars. And I said, how? How can I be how can we be sending money back home and it has to be sent in dollars? Nigerian people who have people maybe abroad who used to send money, things like that. They won't know what I'm talking about. So they say the money have to be sent will be sent in dollars, then they'll have to change the money into dollars, and after that they put it in they send it into Naira before they take it from Naira to send it into the Naira account. I said, Wow, all this transaction only to send 10 people money. I said, okay. So why we, we wanted to send the money now they said no we need to have a dollar account in Nigeria. Then I said I don't understand what is going on. They said we need to have a dollar account in Nigeria for us to send the money in the dollar account. Then the money will be cashed out of the dollar account. Then the money will be exchanged into Naira. When it's exchanged into Naira, then they have to put it inside a Naira account before they can distribute it to the 10 people. I said wow like for real <laughs> then i said this is nothing than going back to colonization i was thinking that colonization was over but now i'm seeing the recolonization and i was thinking like before covid19 i did a giveaway for those who who follow me on instagram i was always doing constant giveaways on instagram and uh it was kind of like I, we never had this problem because we had winners too from nigeria and it was always in naira so I don't understand. Nigeria is a very, very, very big nation in Africa. One of the richest, not even we say the richest in Africa. The population is wonderful. But I don't understand how a big nation like Nigeria cannot 
do the fact that they have their own currency which from abroad you can send money you have to pass through dollars before you get into naira when you look at this it's indirectly telling us that we are not yet out of colonization meanwhile nigeria has been ever since independent but today when you're abroad you want to send money back home you need to pass through dollar and before you get into naira so indirectly telling you that america is ruling nigeria but it never it kind of like stressed me because you know people really need people are coming for the giveaway because they need this money and the money for you to give them the money you need to create an account you change the money into the account you put it into naira before you send the money to the people and i said wow life is very 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 hard complicated certain times that's you will say you have maybe your for those abroad who have families that you have maybe your, your money you want to send to your family you have stress again on the money that you want to send to the family for those in nigeria who live in nigeria maybe you understand what i'm talking about because they know what i'm talking about so my team kind of like went into this and they kind of like said wow is this so complicated so since then i've been very stressed out because i'm kind of like worried people have won the giveaway and they they have not yet had the money some texting me inbox boss what is this and to correct to co to correct something i'm not boss we are normal people we just try to interact with people and we have what we can help we do what we can do and we exchange together we make the platform or our community like i call it this is the miams empire our community grow all in mutual respect so i was very very worried last last uh week so i was kind of like sad it was really really sad so we've been struggling to look for all possible means how we can do it so we try to link up with some brothers and everything so we can have a dollar account to create an account that is stable in nigeria so we can be always be sending our money the money for the giveaways or to help people not only about giveaway because we do also mentorship people who know about mentor means you have a talent or whatsoever we cross check or maybe you have a very good business plan we cross check it and we see how we can go into it to make you grow so that's what we call a mentor so we kind of like set up something now to we're trying to create the account look for somebody create a base there where we can uh, where we can have a dollar account and create our own private naira account and things like that because due to the fact that i don't live back home so it makes it then also difficult because i live abroad like i said before so and i told you why i live already so it's just to tell the people who have been waiting for their giveaway that we're very very sorry my team and i that this is going through like that and uh, i'm also very happy because uh it shows that many people from nigeria are following the platform and thanks for the support i have people here from my day one like celine from instagram and apake bio that they can also testify we've never had this problem in the past before but maybe certain people on this platform who have people maybe abroad they know what i'm talking about about the sending money back home to nigeria where you have to send into dollars and after the changing the money from dollars into naira the whole stress so i was very very pissed off so this let me have no choice to say that it means they say we are independent but if you check very well we are still under control yeah there is still control there is no freedom for those who know what i'm talking about we don't need to go into details there is no freedom and i was very sad very pissed off and so so it let me i came up with a topic that will be the first topic of our day but before i go into the first topic i want to tell the people who want to give away that we registered your name already you guys are 10 people register your name already it's there and we have an upcoming giveaway at my birthday that is the 30th of august where the third people the 10 people will be taken into consideration in the giveaway and if you still win into the giveaway means you're winning twice so don't get yourself discouraged i promise you your 5k will be sent to you but we just need to create this accounts do this and, and it costs time those who know what is happening in nigeria or in africa they know everything there is time yeah so i just beg on your patience 
so let's sort this thing out and we will set we will send you guys the the little token we prepared for you guys for the giveaway and uh everybody will be due and even in the next giveaway if you find yourself that you want the giveaway if you want it twice we will give you the giveaway two times so that's it so that was what i wanted to say and the last thing i wanted to say again come on people you win a giveaway we still have to run behind you for you to get the giveaway i was kind of like my team was kind of like posting again when i went through the page posting again setting names for people who have not who did not send their accounts come on if you're rolling up for a giveaway it means you really need it so what do you do immediately after the live video because those who know me right from instagram like the apake and celine that i, I called their name already their names already they know that immediately after my live video you need to drop your account so i'm just saying this now for the last time we won't do this again i told my team members not to do this again anybody who is interested when you win your giveaway drop your account immediately we don't even need to ask you just need to say i was the fourth winner or the sixth winner and i'm dropping my account finish we don't need to keep posting asking people to send their account no we won't ask it again next time because you know we africans let me take it let me say it straight we always want that we should they should run behind us we people can't be giving you something for free of course we are a community we help each other yes we exchange ideas but somebody can be offering you something then they need to run again behind you it's not possible so next time what we'll do is that when there is a giveaway two days after if you don't drop your account we won't tell you anything we'll just choose somebody else and we replace from there from the group and we said our encouragement for monthly encouragement that will be varying between 20 and 50k for people maybe who have to go back to school or having small businesses will be our active people on the platform so that said and done let me come back to the topic what i wanted to say the topic i was saying is this led me no choice than to come to the topic with man i want to talk about man today you know, I'm a little bit pissed up. You guys know I'm a little bit pissed up, but I have to talk about this topic because this topic, through what happened, let me, I came to the idea with this topic, man. Man is very, very complicated and wicked, if you don't know. You know, not everybody is wicked, but we generalize everything as a whole. We generalize everything man let's say human beings it doesn't have to do with black or white it has to do with everybody is wicked we're talking in general the reason why man does not show you his wickedness or the the the, the, the atrocities he can commit is because of two things let me tell you one is because of religion god man cannot show you how far he can go how wicked he is because of the fear of the lord because man knows that god exists there's any people who don't believe in god that's true that's everybody's idea i'm not a pastor i don't want to preach to anybody i don't want to judge anybody no that's not my, my point here i'm just trying to let you know that man on its own is really wicked up to the point that what man can do if there was no religion because there are people who believe and people who don't believe. That's why I said there are two reasons. If there was no religion, that maybe man says, if I rip, I will go to hellfire. Or if I go and steal, I will go to hellfire. God is watching me. Like man would have been doing so much horrible things. Now ask yourself one question. Why is it that when you want to sleep at night, you have to close the door? At night, when you want to sleep. Or when you want to go out, why do you have to close the door? Because you have a second thought in your mind that if you don't close your door, maybe somebody might sneak into your house and steal something from your house. That's something we have naturally and we know that that's it. It's already in the mind. So it's like a security. So imagine by the time that man was not surrounding, was not surrounded by the law of religion, when man knows that God exists, I'm not trying to preach here, I'm not trying to be a pastor, but because man knows that God exists, that is why man has to go by the rules and regulation of religion in order to be good. 
if there was no religion, the atrocities man would have been causing in this world would have been horrible. Rapes, stealing, robbery, and what you can name so many other kind of things just to earn his own means or even living. Just imagine now there is religion, there is governance. That was the second uh, uh, thing I wanted to say. They are existing, but man is still worst. You can't trust what man has in his heart. Only God can see. You can even be eating on the same plate with somebody, but if somebody, the person is not thinking anything good about you. That is man. So you need to know how to deal with man. And man is good, or some human beings are good because of the fear of the Lord, because they know if they are not good, they might go to hellfire. So they do everything possible, although we are not perfect people, they do everything possible to be good so that at least heaven will favor them. That is the first thing. That was the first rule governing man. And if that rule was not existing, like what man would have been doing, the atrocities would have been horrible. Because even now, those things are existing, but what man is still doing? It is man that is doing that you are abroad. You want to send money back home to help people. They say you have to convert into dollars, go open a dollar account, send it into a Naira account, change it into a Naira account before you can send to people's account. Look at all the, the going and coming you need to do for your own home where you're coming from. Is it not? Eh? Is it not? You know what I mean? Man is all about man. So you can imagine how worst man could be if there was not the fear of the Lord. I'm not trying to preach it, but I'm trying to talk to prove a point. That is the first thing, religion, the fear of the Lord, God. For those who believe, I'm not your pastor. I want to be your pastor, but I'm giving you my point of view, my humble point of view. The second point is the system, the government. For those who don't believe or for those who believe and those who don't believe the government if the government was not there to bring out laws rules and regulation governing a system it would have been you know it would have been worst it was would have been terrible just imagine there is the we have rules governing the system but people are still carrying on rapes robbing robbing and so on very very criminal acts the people are still doing that so people even moderate because they know if you go and steal you will go to jail you kill you will go to jail you rape you're going to jail that's why people even moderate if they were those if those rules and regulations were not existing from the law where the law says if you do this you'll be sentenced to prison if you do this you'll be do you'll be done this according to the law or life imprisonment man the world would have been really 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 terrible so today this thing that happened last week gave me no choice than to bring this topic about man man is very bad Man, man is very terrible. Man, take care of man. I'm not talking about everybody, but the majority. What man would have done if there, were, there was no religion or no government, government or no law? <laughs> God. It would have been worst. Trust me. It would have been really, really worst. So I just want to hear from you guys. What do you think about man? How do you see man? Because that was my own point of view. And I think that that is true. Because if you look at very well, why is it that you don't sleep when you're at home with doors open? Some people sleep with doors open, but how many people? Why is it that you need to close the door when you are sleeping or when you're going out? Why is it that when you're going to take your shower, you have to close everywhere? 
You're afraid of rape. You're afraid of so many things. Why are you afraid when you're walking somewhere on the street where you're lonely in darkness? Because of man. Only man. You're afraid of man. So this video of today is the first video we're starting and it's about man. I don't say you should hate man, no, but I'm just telling you what man is capable of doing if there was no religion and no government or no laws, what man could have done. Yeah. Then you would have seen how far man can go. How far? Because even those things are existing. The law, the government, and religion. But man, what man is still doing is unbelievable. So drop in the comment section what you think about man. If my point of view, if you think that's true, don't forget to share the video with people. Maybe this video can help somebody else if it can't help you. It's just to say that if you are living with somebody, you don't need to be enemies. But you need to know how you live with man. If you know each time you are with Paul, when you go into an argument with Paul, you guys can get into separation. Then when you get into an argument with Paul, Try to reduce the level of argument or stress if you see that you guys are not coming to a compromise. For you not to lose your friendship with Paul. And you, know, you need to know up to which extent you can go into friendship with each and every human being you have in your life. Because man, man is not easy. Certain people maybe have experiences, lessons from man. Man can surprise you at any time of the day. Man can show you colors at any time of the day. The word man, a human being. Because even with the laws, what is happening or what the things that are happening, the atrocities that are happening now our days is horrible. So kindly let us know on the, on the comment session what you think about man on your own side. The experiences you had the situations you had with man or with human beings, the disappointments you had or the good things you had because we also have good people out there. Of course, we have people that you can trust in them and things like that. Yeah, we have so many of them out there. But we're talking about the majority. Of course, in anything, we have always good people in anything. So that was the topic I had in mind today to share with you guys after what happened last year or what is happening because the situation has not yet been solved i just wanted to do this video to try to enlighten you people on what we are going through and to give you people our first topic concerning man because what is happening is man that is doing it it is not it's not coming from anywhere it's man that is setting those rules that before you want to send your money back home you need to send it to dollars create a dollar account you take it from the dollar account set it to another to change it first convert the currency before you get it into Naira, before you start distributing to people your money, you have to still be suffering. This man, it's not anybody, it is man. So that's why I came up with this topic, the first topic of today uh, of our community, and I wanted to share with you people. Let us know your own experiences on the comment section with man, the good and the bad things what you think about it that was my point of view my humble point of view with all respect because we go in this platform with respect my humble point of view and don't forget to share the video for other people it might help the people so yeah share drop a comment and for the people who want the giveaway i love you guys and uh we will be giving you your giveaway as soon as possible as everything is settled like I said before, I don't live in Africa. I'm between Germany and in the States. So reason why I have my administrators that run out all those things. So they are in charge of this. And um, we hope that as soon as possible, they will be able to settle this. And even if 
we launch the next giveaway and if you win twice you will give you will receive it twice i said it and that is how it will be so thanks to everybody because the number is really going up don't forget to click the bell of notifications so that any video update upload or pictures or whatsoever you always be aware click the bell of notifications share the videos as much as possible into groups and everywhere don't forget that the most active members will always be compensated each and every month either in the business or education or so many other things because we know that on this platform we have students we have people doing little retail businesses and we have family people too here so support us and let's make the community grow we're doing anything here but motivation talks little really retail businesses to make them grow that's what we're doing here i'm not a pastor i'm just a motivator i did philosophy in school i did mechatronics and i do motivation talks i lost my last account so i did, that was in french so i came through this because so many english french people said Oh, please try to do videos in English. We will love it to do when you do it in English. That's why with the new page, I started doing it in, in English. Thanks to my brother, Sumandina, who supports me. I thank him again so much for what he does for me. Thank him so much because when I lost my page, he was the one encouraging me again. So let us know in the comment section what you think about man, the disappointment, the good things or everything. Share the video and let us know. And don't forget that we always love you. It was your boy, your brother, Miams Dariko, the founder of the Miams Empire. We found on Instagram, on YouTube. You can follow us on all the platforms. Don't forget to click the bell of notification so you get every update on this page. Thank you so much. I wish you guys a nice day, everybody. And if it's evening, I wish you guys a nice evening or a good morning, whatsoever might be the time where you are. Thank you so much and we'll link up for our next video. And we haven't forgotten our winners. They are precious. We love you guys and we love everybody. Stay tuned. It's your boy. Yeah, I'm Stadiko. Wish you guys a nice day. Ciao.